Hello, everyone. We'll now present today's Indie World Showcase and Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase back to back. First up, here's the Indie World Showcase. Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're back with more indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, it's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? Here's the deal. I hate portals. Hola, som Nova de Estudio, l'equip darrere de Gris i ara el pròxim joc neva. El nostre joc és una història de maternitat on els jugadors assumeixen el rol de l'Alba. Començarà la seva aventura al costat d'una petita lloba anomenada Neva. Els capítols inicials del joc mostraran com l'Alba haurà d'encoratjar i protegir una jove Neva dels perills del seu món. Però al final del joc, una Neva més gran i ferotge es convertirà en la protectora de la seva figura materna, l'Alba. El equipo... ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen eventualmente necesitarán nuestro cariño y cuidados también. Estamos encantados de poder compartir las últimas novedades del juego y esperamos que os una Yeah, I haven't changed those things, guys. I haven't caught up with everything. They're not all universal yet, so let's go. Creep and crawl your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. In this surreal RPG, you'll take on the role of Moth Cubit, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time to celebrate. The threat of a mysterious event known as the final process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the company? Or even reality itself? As you investigate the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, you'll befriend bugs from all walks of life, each with a story that's interwoven with moths. Not everyone will be friendly, though. 
take on enemies in verbal showdowns with multiple dialogue choices and be sure to bring your fighting words. Your choices influence how the story progresses. There are multiple secrets, quests, and endings to unravel. So experiment and see what happens. Moth Cubit buzzes onto Nintendo Switch next spring. Hey guys, we're AJ and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. We're part of Coffee Talk team, and with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi, we created Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk episode 2. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Winterstein, a game designer and a writer. I was the co-writer of Coffee Talk Hibiscus and Butterfly, alongside Junkie at Toge. Hi, I'm Kimita Okawa, a writer and uh, English to Japanese games translator. I had the privilege to work on the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Chorus to expand the Coffee Talk world. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk fans are fond of, but at the same time brings something new to the table. And now, we're very proud to announce an exciting new game for Coffee Talk fans. Coffee, Coffee Talk, Talk Tokyo! Tokyo. Okay, this sounds too bad, guys. Not really interested in that one. For me, I'll be posting things that aren't interesting. Hey, guys, this does not. I believe I wasted that. Well, this is out. Let's check out some upcoming downloadable content that will take you to new and unexpected places. Discover a miniature clockwork world in the Sea of Stars Throws of the Watchmaker DLC. Gear up for a journey full of... Now, this one does not look bad at all, though. ...oddities and wonders in which Valir and Zale will have to play by new rules to put a stop to a cursed carnival. Zale will transform into a skillful juggler, while Valir will dazzle as an acrobat. Together with new playable character Artie, They'll explore new areas and battle through dangerous dungeons in their quest to save the world of Orlidge. A malevolent spectacle awaits when this free DLC for Sea of Stars launches on Nintendo Switch next spring. Not bad at all. I actually like it, guys. Hey! Get out of my swamp! Sorry, Amber. But just like onions, this swamp has layers of dirt that need to be blasted away. Ugh, fine. I'm ogre it anyway. A muddy good time awaits in the Shrek Special Pack paid DLC for Power Wash Simulator. Feel like an all-star as you wash away the grime covering five fairy tale maps from the Shrek universe, including Shrek's very own swamp and the Dragon's Lair. Don a shiny suit of armor with a new night-themed character model and get your power washing game on when the Shrek Special Pack DLC makes a splash on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Toby. Our team has been working on a new game called Morsels. You play as a mouse fighting against the forces of wicked cats, using magical cards to transform into a bunch of weird little monsters. It's a challenging roguelike set in a grungy, whimsical world. When I first pitched Morsels four years ago, it was a simple top-down shooter, which is a genre I love. Since then, with the help of Sam and our programmer Higgy, we've been able to turn it into something much cooler than I envisioned. 
helping people play more souls, they enjoy the frenetic action, but are also charmed by the game's personality. Please enjoy the first ever trailer for our strange little game. Thank you. game I played not too long ago, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Itself, guys, it's not too bad. Um, now maybe would I get it? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on a few things, but it's not bad. February is 25th, huh? Hey there! They say home is where the heart is, and that's especially true for this next game. That's right. Household objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love interests in Date Everything, a game in which you can, in fact, date pretty much everything. With 100 dateable characters, there are plenty of unconventional partners to choose from. Fall madly in love with Cabrizio the Cabinet. Become besties with Shelly the Shelf. Or come to despise Doug. Your, uh, overwhelming sense of existential dread. Um, I think I'll pass on Doug. Can I fall in love with a lamp? No way! Lux the lamp is all mine! But did you know that you could even date the game itself? Why don't I introduce you to Textbox Chan? Engage in flirtatious, branching dialogue with these fully voiced characters as you get to know them and form meaningful relationships. Perish the thought, swashbuckler. I dry as quick as my wit. Bring your best dating game because your choices could result not just in love, but also in friendship, or even disdain. Find the object of your affection when Date Everything launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. No. I don't think so, guys. Hi, I'm Sienna, the lead artist on Peglin. And I'm Dylan, the game designer of Peglin and the founder of Red Nexus Games. The two of us created the first version of Peglin at a game jam in 2019. The theme of the jam was fall, and we wanted to create something fun and physics-y. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. When the pandemic started, working on Peglin became a fun and creative escape. We made cute places and enemies for our little goblin friend to explore. We then added two of our friends to help speed up development, and now four years later, we're a team of seven, and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. The dragons have been stealing your gold for as long as you can remember. It's time to delve into the heart of their lair and exact your revenge with the power of pegs. In this roguelike yeah, no, pachinko-inspired RPG, you'll aim orbs and hit pegs to deal damage in turn-based battles. The more pegs you hit, the more devastating the blow you'll deal to your enemies. Bounce your way to victory with a variety of different orbs. Some can split into multiple copies. Others will pierce both pegs and enemies. And some will even heal you for every peg you hit. The pegs themselves have some peculiar properties too. They can explode, help you unlock the critical power of your orbs, and more. With careful planning and aiming, you can create some spectacular combos. Relics will radically change your game too. 
Equip these rare passive power-ups to prevent lethal damage or turn pegs into bombs. Just to name a few. Each run presents new opportunities for possible combinations. Teach those dragons a lesson when Peglin bounces onto Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. Yeah, I think you can keep that, guys. Not into those type of games anymore. I used to when I was younger, but not these days. I'm not interested Okay, follow my lead and watch out for the caterpillar. We're doing great so far. Hey, careful. There's a... Uh, Andrew! <laughs> Oops, let's try this again. Scoot, scoot. And jump! <sighs> Good thing we're tied together. Look, a key. Let's grab it. Hey, don't jump on my head. Let I'm me... going in. Oh. All right, let's All right, slow it down. So fun. And jump. Got it. Yay! We make a great team. Now let's try it with eight players. Oh boy! As you can see, cooperation is key in this puzzle platformer. Up to eight players need to work together to navigate levels full of ledges, cliffs, and other obstacles. Use strategic stacking, coordinated movement, and puzzle solving skills to find all the keys and reach every level's exit. There are more than 60 levels, and each one can be completed no matter how many players you have on your side. Think it'll be a walk in the park? Think again. Even greater challenges await in dark mode, where your skills and your friendships will be put to the ultimate test. Get ready for multiplayer mischief when Pico Park 2 jumps onto Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. This looks too bad. Can't get enough indies? Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch system in the near future. I'm gonna play one of them, but it looks pretty good actually. For today's show. Hey, oh, where'd you get that pizza? I found it in that tower over there. What tower? You guys, when I'm going to do a big walk, I will pause the video. If it'll just um, a little comment there and there, I won't pause it. Depends on the context of the um. But. Oh, 
Some of these games I'm not too sure about. I really don't know. Well, there's a lot of good ones, but some of them are a bit more questionable. Because this one's one of them. No, not gonna happen. That's all for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed today's showcase. Yes, the Indie World's done As well. always, a big showcase. thank you to our Indie community and That's partners direct. making games for Nintendo Switch. Follow our official Indie World account to stay up to date oh, on all things one. Indie on the Nintendo oh, Switch out. system. <laughs> Stick around for more exciting news and updates in today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, starting right now. Until next time, happy, happy gaming. gaming. Oh,